President Obama stepped into the East Room of the White House today and said what no president has ever had to say. Nobody wants to see the United States default. So we've got to seize this moment, and we have to seize it soon. Speaking there at a news conference, the president warned the country will default on its debts on August 2nd unless Congress raises the government's borrowing limit. Default, he said, would hurt an already struggling economy. In a CBS News New York Times poll out tonight, only 8% of Americans say Mr. Obama is to blame for the condition of the economy, but 52% disapprove of the way he is dealing with it. Chip Reed was with the president at the White House today. More than a month before the deadline, the president said the situation is already urgent and the consequences for the economy of not raising the debt limit would be significant words. and unpredictable. We're in a position now where uh, we're having to do a whole bunch of things to make sure that our bills are paid. By August 2nd, we run out of tools to make sure that all our bills are paid. So that is a hard deadline. To get the debt limit negotiations done, the president said both parties need to offer to compromise on their sacred cows. He said he's already done that on Medicare and Medicaid. Now it's time for the Republicans to do the same on taxes. The tax cuts I'm proposing we get rid of are tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires, tax breaks for oil companies and hedge fund managers and corporate jet owners. The president said there really is no choice on increasing the debt limit because the money has already been spent. This is not a situation where uh, you know, Congress is going to say, okay, we won't, uh, we won't uh, buy this car or we won't take this vacation. They took the vacation, they bought the car, and now they're saying maybe we don't have to pay. A big part of the problem, he said, is that Congress hardly ever seems to be in session. They're in one week, they're out one week, and then they're, they're saying Obama's got to step in. You need to be here. I've been here. I've been doing Afghanistan and bin Laden and the Greek crisis. And you stay here. Let's get it done. Scott, after that scolding, 10 Senate Republicans said next week's July 4th recess should be canceled. We're told Senate Democratic Leader Harry Reid is considering that request. Thanks, Chip.